Hi, everybody does videos about their life and um, stuff like that. And I haven't done that video in a while because I just don't know how, what to put on YouTube. I do cooking, I do rooming, I do, you know, dog training uh, because I'm a dog trainer. And I do um, homemade dog treats when I make them because I do that sometimes. But I don't do like a daily life, you know, thing in my life. Um, if you want me to start doing that, let me a comment down below, please. Oh, sorry, down below. And today I'm going to talk about my dog, Missy. Right there, my baby. She's um, going to be 15. She's my love. She's halfway blind, but she does really good. She's good with my nieces and nephews. She loves them. They pay for her and she loves them. She had some sickness um, when she was a puppy, and she still has some little sicknesses here and there. Um, when she was a puppy, when I got her, the guy didn't feed her dog food. He fed her all kinds of human food. So she had to have surgery because um, her stomach was messed up and that went good and she got over that when I did it. I got her spayed at the same time. Um, a couple years after that she had gastric, gastro air lupus slash bloat. Um, bloat is when your, the dog's stomach gets fear of air. And sometimes it can turn on itself. Thank goodness horse didn't turn on itself. Horse just got a lot of air. And usually it's in bigger dogs. But what happens, what happened with her, she got very sick. She had the gastric lupus something I have. No idea how to say it, I'm sorry. And my vet said, oh, she just has like a bug, gave her some antibiotic. And she was puking, having diarrhea, and not eating. And I'm like, something else is going on. Took her back to my vet. They gave her a shot and said that she would be fine. And she still wants to eat. Everything she ate, she was puking up. You know, having diarrhea, not being herself. So I called my dad. And I said, hey, dad, something's going on with her. Can I please um, see if I can get in with your vet? And I lived in New York. My dad lived in Maryland at the time. And um, my dad called his vet. I took her in to his vet. His vet did x-rays, did blood work, and found out what it was and said, you're lucky that she didn't die. It, um, you dropped it any longer, she could have died. And I said, my vet said she was fine. So I didn't finish paying my vet. And my dad's vet called my vet and said, she's not paying you she's not finishing paying you and um, you almost killed her dog i'm telling people this now because i see a lot of the vna vets and i don't know if all vna vets are bad but that's the vet i had at the time that almost killed my dog and i don't want anything to happen to anybody else's um she had emergency surgery she had to stay in the hospital for a month. They had to do a blood transfusion because when they did surgery, she started bleeding out. It was horrible. Anytime she gets sick, no, just a little bit, just, you know, if she ate something weird or something, it freaks me out. On top of that, her um, anal glands get clogged a lot. And some dogs have problems, some dogs don't. Some dogs just need it popped once in the blue moon. She had it so bad that she had a hole like this that they had to drain. So they said, get it popped um, every time you go to, to get her trained, and that's about every two months, and feed her pumpkin. So I started making homemade pumpkin food, and that's when I started making treats and selling them um, with pumpkin in it for paper. Um, so I made homemade pumpkin food, and then, she started getting picky and didn't like eating soft food all the time. So I found one company and it's um, called um, 
I forget what it's called. I'm sorry, and I don't have the dog food bag because I put her dog food in a container. But it's one company I find, and the first ingredient in the food is pumpkin. The second is fish, and then it's sweet potatoes, carrots, and I forget what all. And that's what I get, but it's only a small bag. Small bag. It's not big or nothing like that. For my dog, because he's small, it works. Oops. A minute. Because he's small, it works. And, um... But if you have a bigger dog and you need to fit it pumpkin, it might be harder. So you might just have to make treats like I do, or mix it in, you know, if it's food. Um, but leave me a comment down below if you want me to tell you more about my dog, more about my life, whatnot. Okay? Thanks. Have a good day. Mm, bye.